Hello, everyone. Ta-da. Welcome to the 150th episode of Extravaganza. Extravaganza. <laughs> That's uh, fireworks, a lot of people in the crowd. You won't be able to hear it because we got to be way back. There's, there's like 150 people here. Anyways, uh, no, we don't. Hi, everybody. Uh, hi, Ping. So, what are we going to do? So, I put a poll out. You may have seen it. I said, it's our 150th episode. We should do something special. So I said, should we, you know, do a cook along? Should we make a main dish? Should we do some blah blah blah? And I had I was a genius idea that we should just make chili. And the reason we're making chili is because it's all of those things. It's a side dish. It's a topping for chili cheese fries, chili dog, anything. You can have chili nachos. Those are pretty good. Uh, with potatoes, potatoes, it's like uh, a chili baked potato is one of the best things, things there is. Uh, we had that the other day. And uh, I've eaten every Halloween, we cook chili, and that's what we feed everybody. So we're cheating a little bit because we are making, I said we'd make a main dish, and we are. But we're also making, it's like, chili is like that jack of all trades that you can use for almost anything. There used to be a restaurant here. Can't I can't remember the name of it anymore, but it was a baked potato place. Spuds or something like that. Spudistro. Spudistro. Oh, God, you missed that place. They used to have the best. best. Like they, they I swear to God, they get where were they? Winnemucca yeah. and potatoes. Winnemucca is a as a is a town that's east of us. Uh, what three hours or something like that. Anyways, they have giant, giant potatoes that grow there. Um, and they were delicious, and they could eat any one of And one of the best ones, they had their own thing. I'm chilly. We are also nearing our third year anniversary thing. That is correct. 156 will be coming up in, uh, well, six episodes. So um, that'll be probably around June-ish. Three years. That's just crazy, right? Yep. So... We'll, we'll, we'll be doing something for that, too. Who knows? Uh, maybe, I'll wear a, uh, maybe I'll wear a funny hat. Anyways, <laughs> so the thing about, oh, uh, yesterday was Cinco de Mayo, so you can't, we can't do the show today without having margaritas, which I made last night. And you're like, but then, we like watching you make it. Yeah, but I also macerated a bunch of berries today, strawberries, so that we could put these in the bottom of the glasses for the... Uh, the margaritas and have strawberry margaritas um, with a lot of this yummy, yummy, delicious syrup in there as well. That's what I um, <laughs> <laughs> So if your mic is working, but something else is picking up. Uh-oh. Uh, my mic is, who's? You have to be more specific. Oh. Oh. Um, let me see. Oh, please. To turn the gain down a little bit. I think that's what happened. Yeah, I think the gain is high on the other microphone, and you were probably picking it up. Did you fix it? I think so. No, you didn't miss anything. Also, D three. So, um, now, so we're making strawberry margaritas. Um, I think we should just start with that, and then just have more as we continue to go through the show. I like it. I mean, I think there's. Us. Yeah, I, I honestly feel like I already made it, and it's the, the, the drink today is like just an extra funness. So what I'm going to do is actually spoon in the, the strawberry mixture first. But her mic is loud. Yeah, I, um, yes, I... It is. It is better now. Uh, so I think the gain was on her mic was way up, and that's why you could hear me on her on Amy's mic, not her, Amy. That was the thing that was a pet peeve of Amy's mom's, um, being referred to as her while they they are they were in the room. So or she. So yeah, we've uh, it's a uh, hundred fifty episodes. It's kind of crazy that that's a thing. So. What do you guys think about that? Oh, uh, Amy's here, uh, Denise is here, and Paige is here. So we're, we're it's a, it's definitely part of all, the, all these folks. Um, okay. Now, 
who thinks I'm gonna should I pour I'm gonna pour this over the top of this. So uh That's a good one. Except, I don't know. Do you forget how to pour? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. Inside the refrigerator, Denise, is uh, more simple syrup if that is something that is needed. This is this is what just happened. She took a slip and she wrote it this way. And then when she tried to speak, Amy tried to speak. <coughs> it's fine. Does it It doesn't taste like a jet fuel at all. Well I'll let I think that's that's good. I'll let you sauce it as you like. It just got me warm. Nice. <laughs> and I mean it is a celebration. Gave up pouring it over the bowl? Yeah. Because you like, learned how to. Whatever. Hmm. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. It doesn't suck. Okay, well, oh, I forgot. Did I put ice in yours, Denise? Yes. I forgot to put ice in mine. Did you? Yeah. Did you I did. <laughs> I like how it turned it a pretty blush color. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about this chili. I know you're looking at this. I don't know if you can see, which you probably can. I hope you can. There's a lot of things in jars. There's just a lot of ingredients. There is, but it's very, very good. So we need to, let's get started in this. While we're sitting here because we need to, we got to brown some meat. So. I double this batch when I make it at Halloween. So I've got the so that means there's six pounds of meat in here. Yeah. So we got a two to one ratio here. And I want to get this started before I start to chop the veg. Are you doubling it today? Eh? No. Oh, okay. I don't think I'll need to. We usually have a lot left over, so we do, yeah. So get out of the kitchen. Oh, Woody wants to be on TV. <laughs> Both Blue and Woody wanted to be on TV. Was I a little grenadine or something, you think? What? Pretty color, although Ping thinks it could uh, use a splash of red. You think I'm funny? <laughs> I'm just going with what's on the screen. Hmm. What kind of, what are you putting in? I'm putting, uh, Ground beef. We're looking at the pot, not you. Ground beef and Italian sausage. Hey, do you, I hope you guys like the, 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 the return of the second camera. Two ground beefs and one Italian sausage? That's it. One pound each. So there's three pounds of meat in this. Well, there's two pounds of ground beef. Right. But there's three pounds of meat total. Yeah. But you said one pound of meat. Oh, you meant up there. Yes. I didn't. Anyways. <laughs> I like that phrase. Yes, I did. We do have. I think we did have cherry syrup somewhere. But yeah, you can. What's up? Cough syrup. No, not cough syrup. That's just, that's just insane. So yeah, I left. Insane. I left this meat out on the counter to, to sort of get the room temperature. And what I've noticed is it is uh, cooperating in the bowl a lot better. So just to, you know, pro tip. So that helps. I think so. Because you know when you're trying to amalgamize, amalgamize homogenize, there we go, uh, the two meats together. You mean just mix them up together? Yeah, homogenize. <laughs> She's tough, man. <laughs> it's a tough crowd today. They do are correct. That's all right. But, you know, you want to... <laughs> now I've lost my train of thought. 
yeah, the meat. You want, you, I want it to get nice and mixed together so that you don't get pockets of just one I, or the other. Oh no, what is happening? It's not the mouse. mouse. It's just jumping around. Yeah, I don't know. It started doing that, so uh, uh, just you know, we're fine. I'm going to let this happen. All right, so we need this. So what do I got here? This, if you don't know, the name of this, this recipe is Boilermaker Chili. I posted it for people to grab if they wanted to. And it's about, it's uh, in, they make it at the Purdue Boilermakers uh, football games. That's where it originated from. So. East, south, east? I don't know. If anybody knows, I just know that that's what I do. So, what has it got? It's got uh, diced tomatoes. Two 28 ounce cans. And that's the brand you like. I do. I love Cinto. Indiana. Uh, Indiana. Indiana. Perfect. Yeah. And then it has mixed chili beans. So, this, this is kidney and pinto beans in a chili sauce. That's what makes it chili beans. Uh, this is a mild that's sauce. sauce. Oh, that's why they say it's cheating because that's its sauce. Boo <laughs> That's and then this is spicy chili. This is it can be some spicy chili sauce. So you've got a three to one ratio of, my, of regular chili sauce to spicy. So you're just gonna have a, a little bit of that. I personally think it's too spicy. This chili. I just put a lot of salt. I gotta tell you, this is the first one here. Oop. Yes, it is not. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I've been making it for years. <laughs> first time I've ever heard of it. Well, uh, why are you lying? Why you lying? I, think it's, I think it has a good flavor. But we're gonna, you can, you're going to put cheese and sour cream and stuff on it. So you can, you know. And also, you want to have Tabasco for this as well. I like the idea of cooking over a lot of stuff. Too. Ooh. And we'll cut it down. That's actually a really great idea. All right, so what is this? And then uh, a whole bunch of spices. Worcestershire. Uh, four beef bouillon cubes is what you want. We've got some uh, oh, man, stop talking about ch chili powder. I'm just giving people a light and some celery. All right. So, so these are uh, jalapeno. Well, chili the coworker makes. Sometimes I do have um, that. Sometimes I will instead of putting like four pasillo uh, peppers in them. Which is what this this is. It just calls for green chilies, right? So this is what I've got here, but it's not it's fresh green chilies. So you know, green chilies are a lot of different. They be a lot yeah. of things. So you know, if they had, uh, they, they differ regionally. Or plant to plant. Yes. Um, you can all like uh, if they had what hatch chilies. You could probably use hatch chilies in that. Would be pretty good, but. That would be if you're making it at the end of summer. Yeah, when is hatch chili season? John would know. So yes, he would. He likes he loves hatch chilies, I think. Yes, he does. That's so, what I use in chili coffee. Hatch? Well. Uh, it's been what what have you been making today? Oh my gosh. So Amy has been a uh, craft and fool for uh, my for D&D stuff terrain. Oh, speaking of, you know, just, just a heads up. There, we may be, well, we are filming a bunch of that. And we're probably going to have a little crafty channel spinning out of Ben Book and Studios that is uh, Amy making crafts. We'll see. They, they won't be live. They'll just be. I was thinking about it. Why don't you need. It would be a lot of me going. Hmm. Yeah, and I could let, let How think. How do I do this? We don't, I don't know if we need to narrate them or not, and I'll tell you why. My mechanic doesn't narrate his, so thank you. Just like your yeah. material. I was gonna say you could just do that, so I think we should do that. Okay, I dig it. Um, so you just uh, you're not gonna chop. You're just chopping this. Most of this is not going to be a fine chop. Because it's all going to cook. Now, the thing with like this is that it is going to be better tomorrow. It's just like anything, spaghetti sauce, um, because the flavors have to melt. If you're going to eat it the same day, 
which we'll taste it. And but it's two hours minimum of just sitting on your stove for two hours before you should really eat this. No, that's not. We're gonna that's have not what we're gonna. We're gonna have it for dinner, but or at least. Do. But I would I would let it go long. It heats up really well. You can freeze it. It holds its freezing really well. I've frozen um, just in Ziploc bags with you know most of the air pressed out of it in the freezer for you know six months, and it's still pretty good. So I would uh, encourage you to to do that. So I've got a bowl here. This corner. I don't know. It's so big that it's not big enough. You know what I mean? No? You don't know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, we, Amy um, got, tried to reach it and said that that's what she you called the time. So. I called the partner. Deb, Deb did? Or oh, yeah. So. I thought you did. Eh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I call it the carpet now. Yeah. It is hilarious. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. How is everybody out there? It's getting, we're having uh, a spring. That's all I can really say. I think people have gotten two years. I was talking to somebody at the supermarket today. And, um, I think people around here have gotten too used to the weather just being hot in May. You know, instead of it being, oh, it's still part of spring. Yeah. The, the summer solstice isn't until June 22nd, which coincidentally is what? Summer solstice is June 21st. It depends. My I always is so, it is, uh, we've, we're in spring for a little while still, folks. So, you know, it was pretty gray outside today, and cold, and, but I, saw, I said, yeah. And I said, people just have gotten used to it being going from winter to hot. And so, oh, they're like, I mean, a lot of people put their tomatoes out. Oops. Well, I, that is a good general rule of thumb. But you don't always need to do that. Yes, you do. No, you don't. No. Says the person who does not garden. Weeping when you're. I don't do that, so <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I'm so not a weeper. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, I'm silly. So what have I been doing? I've been using all the things that you decide the day before that you need for your Don't isn't this how it yeah. No, you're, and you're you are happy for it. I really. Yeah. Oh man. And what else? Preparing for the end of school. School. Graduation. Promotion ceremony. All that. All kinds of fun stuff. My office. I gotta move my office. This week. Garden spot. Good, but we have a spot. Spot. Yeah, because it what? helps you in the long run. Where are you where where is your office going to be at? It's gonna be Hall instead of Lee Hall. Hmm. That's Hall, everybody, not Hole. Hall. Did I say Hole? No, you didn't, but I just want to make sure that our degenerate but lovely viewers know what we said. <laughs> I mean, just kind of working. That's about it. Oh, um, we went uh, to our wine trip last week, which was super fun. And we talked with the owner of the winery for, what, 45 minutes or something like that. Um, oh, I got to email him, by the way. He said to email him because they're going to be doing an event here in Reno. And that if we email him, he'll make sure we get on the list so we can go. So, which I thought was interesting. But I think like he just we were sitting kind of sitting in the shade, you know, and um, he's you know. I think so. 
<laughs> most of the time. What is, I, oh, I have a quick question. What is everybody's favorite canned chili? Like, what is their, like, if they were going to make it, like, buy chili in a can, which one do you buy? I think this says a lot about how you were raised. Why is it that the dogs have decided right now that they're going to have this argument? <laughs> Every single time. Oh my god. So the hottest chili I've ever eaten? Oh my god. I Maybe a scorpion pepper? or a, I've not had any. Or maybe scotch bonnet. I think scotch bonnet is the hottest I've ever eaten. But anyways. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm, I don't I'm I'm discovering hot peppers like later in life, like hot um, like salsas and things like that. Amy does it. You're not really big on like super hot. I like hotter now, but I mean that's because do yeah. Taste buds. yeah. Taste buds die. What's the hottest pepper I've ever eaten? Uh, not very hot. Ma uh, probably. Probably an accidentally hot jalapeno. Or a habanero, maybe. Mm. Huh. I don't know then, but I know. I know one time you had um, the, those little, what are they, Dutch bonnets? Yes. What is it? Scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. That's what I say. That's the hottest I think I've eaten. I can't remember what you put in here. I don't either, but you said not to do it again, so I never do it again. What about you, Ping? What's the hottest pepper you've ever eaten? What's the hottest pepper you've ever eaten? Yeah. Jalapeno. Jalapeno business? They can. And, like, we've discovered, like, the smaller ones seem to be more spicy than the bigger ones. I hate it when you're, like, cruising along. With some. Well, yeah, because you know what it is? It's like we like making banh mi sandwiches, and one of the key components in a banh mi sandwich is jalapeno slices, right? And it's really good if you get one that is flavorful and a little spicy, but not too spicy. And I got to tell you, we've had them where one person will be fine, and the other person is like, ah, I must have got the hot part. Yes, we should. I need to get it some night this week. Oh, okay. Well, I... Yes, she does. Um, I would like... I know people out there like try those uh, Carolina Reapers or, or the... Um, what's the super hot one now? Ghost Pepper. There's some other one that is like super hot. Um, I There's some pepper that they use in a hot sauce on hot ones, which is the wing tasting show or the wing eating show or the interview. Uh, from First We Feast, hosted by Sean Evans. Ooh. They, I watched a bunch of stuff about his interviewing tech. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's, like, he knows... Well, they were talking about you know, this whole team that does research and everything. But I gotta start watching that because everyone says his interviews are like, really good. And everybody he like interviews, like the people he's interviewing are like, how the hell do you know that? <laughs> and he does. You know, he says, we have a great, we have a great research team. But they also, you know, I like it because they're eating progressively, if you've not seen the show, they're eating progressively hotter hot sauces on wings, or if people are vegan or vegetarian, they eat them with, um, like, cauliflower, dip, you know, breaded cauliflower like that. And so, like, but the best part about it is you're getting these people who are like, oh, this is fine, and then they get to a point where it's like, holy moly, they can't think... They're, they're, the answers are raw and honest and like, you know, it's pretty an interesting idea and concept to put into play because again, you're you're really getting <laughs> Yeah, I don't know either. I, sorry, it's just like over and like I have a, 
I have a hot jalapeno, or sorry, I have a habanero hot sauce I got from grocery outlet. And I like it. It's not too hot. It's got good flavor. So, I mean, this, and then, uh, you know, it says large onion. Is this the last thing you have to shop? No, uh, yes, this is the last thing I have to shop. And then, oh, three th sticks of celery. But. Yeah. So, again, I love it. I like the crudite with celery. Ooh. When you want to I was like, yeah, that's how I feel about water. <laughs> this person spoke my truth for me. <laughs> what do you want? I want water with care in it. <laughs> You've never been in any of this in there. <laughs> so the, the thing that, I mean, again, this. I've never had this idea. I'm trying to do it this way. You know, practice. I mean, it depends on how big these don't need to be finely minced. But. If I want them, I think I'm trying to do maybe. Two. Yeah, you only need two. You only need to two to three mats. The 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 smallest of the pieces are going to be when you're chopping it this way. So, oh, I'm gonna I'm going um Tabasco peppers this year. To make a uh, hot sauce. Because I want to make hot sauce. I, yeah, I, yeah, I do. I'd like to have my own brand. Oh, I know they do. That's why I got the inspiration. So. I have seven or eight, six plants, that, which is plenty of for jalapenos. Were those the shotgun shells that I made? Oh, yeah, those. Yes, those were good. So let's, let's reminisce. It's 150 episodes. What is your favorite? What, if you had to pick one of your favorite episodes, I, I thought about like putting together like um, a retrospective show. Uh, I, let's go to the clips, and it's just literally clips of the show from the past three. I'm gonna say anything where you're. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's 100 percent true. Hey. I, yeah, that that um that was a fun one. I I love the the bruschetta. That was our first like real knock it out of the park. Like where we were like, okay, this is pretty damn good. Do you mean the artichokes, the artichoke stuff? Well, we, yeah, yes. Yeah, and um, uh, what what? But the best episode? Yeah, deviled eggs. I think yes. deviled sure. eggs. Sure. God, that episode. People, we couldn't. I I could not. Live. Yes. <laughs> I I. I think about how funny that because again, I think that episode is like the epitome of what we're trying to do. Here. I don't think so, but, but I, uh, you know, it's we're, this show is about the interaction we're doing with you, right? And that was so much back and forth. We were, I mean, our stomachs both hurt at the end of it. It was so much fun, and you know, that's what we're trying to do here. So. Good doing that.
<laughs> I'll have to get, you know what, I'll, uh, Ping, I'll have to get Deepi's help with that because she loves to send me uh, screenshots of the episode sometimes after the show, of, like what I'm doing. So I think that's, that's not a bad idea. I need to go back through and, and cause you can download all of the episodes off of YouTube and then I could go through and, and clip everything together if I need to. But, um, I just, uh, I'm not confident in my ability. I will take, I've been using Adobe Premiere because I have access to it through my work. But if anybody has a video editing software program that they recommend that's kind of that's good, but easy to use, please send that along because I would love to do. I know that's true, but, um, but like, I. My sister-in-law, Jessica, had, like, sent me a message the other day that she had watched the deep dive on Brian that I did. And, like, she said, I really enjoyed it. You, you should do more episodes like this. And I was like, yeah, well, maybe I should. <laughs> but it's also sort of, I, I'm not, I, I don't know, I'm out of my comfort zone. But I think that that would be fun to do. All right, so I just need, uh, how many cloves of garlic to, to, to mince? Just one tablespoon of minced garlic. So I just need two, two cloves of my mince. No, I don't. Please don't ever bring that up again. <laughs> I like I like being married to you, so please don't, please don't bring any of that so you hate her. up anymore. It's the worst. And you know it, and you know that. I hate it. So you bring it up to fastly, like a sassafras. <laughs> so, <laughs> am I wrong? Am I wrong? Uh, I told Amy that we should do an April Fool's episode where she dresses up like me and uh, does the show and we don't make mention of it the entire time. But she said that she didn't want to do it because she doesn't want to be on camera. So. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious if we just started the show once and we just maybe even not even do it on April Fool's Day which would be even funnier. We just like in <laughs> November. Folks. Or maybe never. You don't know. Stay on your toes. Yeah, you don't know. Yep, yeah, and she gets to do her best impression of me during this show, and I don't get to say anything, but just do the camera behind her. And I will. Really? <laughs> no, of course not, because I'll be doing my impression of you behind the camera. Oh, I so, think this could be. Oh, I was going to say, Amy, you know what? All of a sudden, Amy's so Ducks crying in the background. Camera goes off. Let me put it this way. I just thought about this. You know, there's a thing. I don't know what movie it's from, but it's like, oh, we're, we're going to have a fight. That's what we're doing today. We're going to fight. That is exactly what crossed my mind. Is like, yep. That's, that is what is happening. Yeah. yeah I don't want to. I don't want to. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and. So, you know what? This is why we workshop. This is why ideas are... No bad ideas, just some ideas don't make Yeah, you know. Sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes <laughs> you, you can't get good ideas without bad ideas. You know? Uh, and I think this is one of my favorite lines of any movie. But in uh, Vanilla Sky, he says, you can't have the sweet without the sour. And I think about that a lot, because it's true. Everybody wants the sweet, but how do you know it's sweet if you don't know the sour of life? So... Anyways. Oh, um, ooh, I, downloaded, I got this movie uh, the other day. It's called uh, Becky, and it's apparently this movie where this uh, girl uh, goes and kills a bunch of neo Nazis because they're attacking her family in the woods. And I thought, hmm, that seems like it might be cathartic to watch. <laughs> Getting upset about rockets. That's the worry. Mm -hmm. This is not very nice. That's what yeah. I. Yeah. Well, it's good. I mean, like it's, it's really upsetting, and well, you know, it's animal cruelty. So maybe, uh, maybe it'll take some action. On yeah, you never know. But I, that is something I would like to go see. This is the new Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't get to go see Dungeons and Dragons in the theater, so bummed about that. But whatever. Such is life. Well, I know somebody who owns a popcorn maker, and we have a TV. We 
screw that. All right. Some fake fluorine and not pour a bunch of soda on it. And, uh, I don't know. Listen. We'll work all day and then take our shoes off so it smells. We'll work all day and corn. It'll be great. Let's do that. So you're gonna the, you're gonna drain the juices, but a lot of the juices out of this. It's clear. No, it clearly says the three cans of beans get drained. Um, there's gonna be plenty of liquid. And uh, again, I'm doing the best I can here. So, you know, give it a little press down. Don't, don't be, you know, don't be crazy. This all goes in here. Oh, hi, Gus. Can I help you with something? Yeah. Did you bring me a bear? Oh, what did you just eat? I think you ate uh, uh, an onion peel. An onion peel. I'm pretty sure it was an onion peel, but. Either way, he's still not going to like it. He's like, watch. I do enjoy that uh, the faces I make get some attention from that people like that because so I like when I dead bang into the camera. That's my favorite. <laughs> makes me feel like I'm making a real TV show. It makes you feel like you're in the office. I mean, that's part of it, but. I swear to God, if you keep putting those lids in today, they're going to have more because they need to be rinsed off. You need to stay in your lane right now. <laughs> that is my lane. <laughs> yeah, it could be that way. Yeah, you did. I'm not gonna call for it. Old sassy frassy. This mouse. It's the computer. It's not the mouse. No, Maybe. it is not. Yes, it is. Okay, well. No, I don't know what to do. And then for the hot one, you're gonna keep the, the You're gonna keep the juice. Of course. I think that this is the best bang for your fuck overall in terms of, I think, I just love chili. I just love it. You do? Yeah. I know that. Oof. So we used to have, maybe the dog was. Okay. I may have spoken too soon. No, it is so good. Okay. Just a hate. This top three, yeah, I... <laughs> Yeah, it's true. He is a uh, he is like Duke the the dog. He is a uh, lab, <laughs> but a um, blonde lab. No, what's what are they called? Blonde lab. Who's a blonde lab? Duke. Yes. Or our dog. Gus. Oh, Gus. So they, they, uh, this is diced tomatoes, but keep the juice as well. If you have whole, then you can do whole, but you can break them up as you're, as you're cooking them. Oh, Marley, that's right. Oh, jeez. Now I'm thinking about that. Next to this. <laughs> Just kidding. He's fictional, so. Wow, that pot's getting full. It is, but I mixed it up here shortly, and that's going to be good. It always, the bowl always gets full when you're making this. This doesn't even have the veg in it yet. Do you always make it in that? No. I typically make it in because I, because I double it up, so it's in the 12 oh, quart. Yes. So right. usually I either make it this or we have a uh, taller but skinnier 12 quart. Get you. Um, yeah, so, let's turn this back on. Well, I didn't want the meat to get overly, you know, so it's going to be fine. All right, um, yeah, 
And then right now. Everything when you put all the seasonings in. That comes next. It's like a Christmas tree full of vegetables. That is pretty. Sad about Harry Belafonte. Yeah. But he was in like 93, so. Man, folks don't live forever. Well, I got to show you these things today, man. I overfilled my mini bun thing. Yeah, so contrary to popular I was going to say, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, <laughs> they are not flying saucers. They're mini buns, strawberry buns. But they're cute. I'm going to grave anyway. Yeah, it's not care. It's very fun. So this is you want to have a good you want to have a good food pusher and stir. Cause again, as this cooks, you know, and everything's going to start to break down and come together and be delicious. Mm. You can see. But you don't um, fry up the veggies ahead of sauté. I do not. They will cook and they will break down, and then the veg. The only That's why you need the two hours. Yes. Where are the two hours? It's gonna be fun because we're gonna have it again tomorrow. So. You'll be able to get the full effect tomorrow. I'm very excited about this, by the way, if I haven't said it. Looks anything. beautiful. Okay, so now this is going to go up the tip. And I've got bacon bits. Yeah, well, I didn't feel like doing it. I got to tell you, everybody, it's hard for you. It's hard for you. Me in front of the camera. Sassafras all day long. <laughs> One tablespoon. One Please. tablespoon? What's even the point? In there. <laughs> yeah, and what did we just, we literally just had a conversation not very long ago. That recipes are always better. Don't follow them. Right. Yep. Nope, we did I not have agree. that conversation. <laughs> we had the exact opposite one. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, and this has a beer in it. Well, not a whole beer, but half half a cup of beer. I usually can't put this in because Sandor is eating. So, and he's, you know. A buzzkill? Well, I mean, he's gluten intolerant. Oh, gluten, right, so. right. Gluten intolerant. I mean, he's not. I mean, he might <laughs> be kind of a buzzkill sometimes. More, more sassafras, but... <laughs> yeah, Ping, I, I recommend making this if you have the time. So yeah, so chili powder, we need a quarter cup of that, which seems like a lot, but... Do you want me to read them off to you as you go? Yeah. Okay, hand it to me. So it's kind of hard to keep track there now. Quarter cup chili powder. Oh, that's a lot. It seems like a lot. Okay. One tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. I have, I have a wet and dry tablespoon. I love Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon dried oregano. I just bought this. I've been making recipes and it's been called, calling for dried oregano. Uh. Oh, cumin's good. Cumin. <laughs> Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Got it. It's okay. I'm okay, everybody. <laughs> it's muy caliente in here. Very flavor check. Two teaspoons hot sauce. That, uh, okay. Go. Now I'm gonna hold off on that till the end. One teaspoon dried basil. Mm, basil? Oh, one teaspoon dried basil, right yeah. here. It clearly states on this tag this random bag of dried herbs is basil. Okay, one half. One, one teaspoon cayenne pepper. You know what I forgot to put in there, too? 
<laughs> the uh, tomato paste. How much? Do I need one jar, right? One can tomato paste. I got a special. Six ounces. We got a spoon and, or a thing and everything. That is not Bless a you. sentence. Oh! You just put in there the cayenne pepper? Yes. Okay. Check this out. This is a move I saw the other day. So you keep this on like this, but you might make sure. And then you flip it over. This side off. And then you can just squeeze it out? And you can just push it through like it's a, one of, it's a tomato a push pop. I just laughed like a crazy. <laughs> Weird. Pure joy, I liked it. Look at the genius of that. And then you just have to take your little finger here and. One teaspoon paprika. Pap, pap, paprika. If I were doing this and I had uh, the smoked or sweet, I would put the smoked. One teaspoon white sugar. Let's go to the pantry and go to the sugar. Let's all go to the pantry. Let's all go to the pantry. What does the sugar do to the to the mix, my love? One teaspoon. Yes. Okay. One teaspoon salt. Okay. And then uh, four bouillon, bouillon cubes of beef. Not yet. Okay. Salt. Nice. So you can see, again, a lot of mixing, but not a lot of. One teaspoon black pepper. Cranberry sauce. <laughs> Is that what you do with cranberry sauce too? I mean, probably people smarter than me. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> One teaspoon? Yes, I am using pre ground. It's not going to matter because it's not the main flavor. One bag of corn chips, such as Fritos. No, that goes in the bowl. And one package of shredded cheddar cheese. No, do not use pre cheese. Do not do it. Uh, four cubes beef bouillon. You could use better than bouillon. Uh, it has a ratio. One cube, I think, equals one tablespoon. I think you're right. So, but... I, I often follow this recipe because it does turn out so damn good. Uh, on the reviews on this, one person said, this is stupid, and that if it doesn't have the word Texas in the chili recipe, then it's not real chili, which I think is horseshit. How about that? They're so proud. Uh, so... That's pretty much all you have to do. Yeah. So that's it. Nice show, everybody. See you now. Well, you should turn of tomato paste in. <laughs> I think it's fine the way it is. It's going to be delicious when I do it. Big scoop of that out. Yum, yum, One yum. piece. And a, all of that chili powder right in your mouth. This is very difficult right now. I'm, people are like watching me do this. And, and like this guy is, he's not being very bright right now. And then you threw it on the brown? No, I went into the, the vegetables. Seriously, why are these wrapped like little presents? <laughs> How many did you get? Four. Oh. Now they have to break. You should have broken them up. No, they will dissolve. Don't worry. I know they will. They would have dissolved faster. <laughs> I think I thought that I was just gonna. No, but you are, you are <laughs> amazing. Yeah, yeah, doing a lot of, doing a lot of backseat cooking today. <laughs> Looks are so good. Oh, I should turn. It on. Man, this computer.
I don't know. I work at it today. This is going to rock your socks. One of those old bullion things in your mouth. Did you? <laughs> what is happening? She just wished that I would get a whole beef bouillon cube in my mouth. <laughs> First of all, I would never do that. You'll pull a face. Yeah, it'd just be like, it's too much beef. Mm. This, I'm telling you, folks. So, I'm going to, while this is doing some business, let's shred some cheese. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> there was a whole bag in there, Denise. <laughs> well, wait, first of all, you know, I go, I know, I, I do all of this work to, to categorize and understand what is in my cover. And then all of a sudden, this is what I get. Okay, so cheese. I'm like a little, little mixy mix of like Monterey Jack and cheddar. Right? What do you think? Turn this up a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Are you on this? I can't be. Maybe if the mouse. You can see that the heat is good uh, because it's starting to bubble up here, and you get you get a little. It's almost like see the it's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a delicious chili sauce lava. They help me. Oh, the chat. No, thank you. Say double click. Yeah, there you go. Just a, there you go. Perfect. There. Listen, I'm sorry. I can't control what's happening right now. Can barely what's controlling on this. I wasn't side. blaming you. I was. That was just. So I could, you know, we could just let we could just go and we could sit over here and you, with the camera and the view, and you can just watch us for two hours, and then we'll come back and try it if you want to do that. No, we won't do that. I mean, that's chili, everybody. What is your favorite application of chili? That is not just eating it as a main dish. I think mine uh, is a good old fashioned chili dog. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! Like it, like it's, so. When I was a kid, <clears throat> if I said this, we did have a ton of money, but we my white bread, hot dogs, and chili. We ate with. Uh, White onions on the top and cheddar cheese. It's like a chili sauce. Yeah, it's so good. And then, uh, but we also used to do that with hamburger patties too. Yeah. Like a yeah. chili burger. Mm -hmm. And I, like, I probably haven't eaten one of those in 30 years. But we can. So, uh, <clears throat> I also love making like, uh, um, Chili fries. Those are like, if you, especially if you can get crinkle cut fries. Not crinkle cut. Cross crisscross fries. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Um. Yeah. Anything that gets um. As nooks and crannies. Yeah. And get crunchy. Hey, what are you guys doing back there? You're no, you're fine. They're just decide. They know that the show's on. All right. So let's have. Should we just have a little taster? You should. Yes. We didn't. We don't need to watch you great. We'll have it again. This is not at its prime. It has to cook. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Baked potato or a french fried potato. Yep. These definitely cook water. Oh, we got 
while we're doing other stuff, we can I can make fries <laughs> or something. Okay. So that's chili. It is hearty <laughs> enough for a main dish, but I bet every diner I've ever been to has had a bowl of chili that you can get with anything you order. So it's a main, it's a side, it's a condiment. It's a condiment? Oh no, it's a condiment. I well, guess. Put it on. Seriously. You should make margarita with strawberries, uh, macerated yeah. strawberries in it. It's delicious. Um, you should come back next week. Oh, speaking of next week, uh, Wednesday. Because Amy's going to be, uh, Denise will be in uh, wine country. And it's just a world travel. Again. Oh, yeah. Country. And then uh, back to that for Saturday for a while in June. The weekend of June 2nd, I will be in Portland, so we'll do it on Wednesday, too. Um, I appreciate all of you coming along for this ride for 150 episodes. On our three-year anniversary, if you have suggestions on what we should do, please put those in the comments. I would love to hear uh, your suggestions. And, um, yeah, that's it. We did it. It's another episode. 150. I'm pretty proud of that. You should be. Yeah. With that, remember... Especially right now, to be kind, to be loyal, and do something nice for somebody this week. It's really important. We love you so much, and we'll see you then.